in books you generally find a, an information that the refractive index of a vacuum is least and it is equal to 1 it means the minimum refractive index is for vacuum or free space and its value is 1 okay and uh, at the same time you also uh, find the information that the refractive index n of air is 1.0003 and so uh, this number is very close to 1 and in general calculation you take that the refractive index of air is also equal to 1 okay and it is the least value generally in, uh, in this such type of information you find uh, you find in your book but uh, can you say that the minimum value of refractive index is 1 it means uh, refractive index can not be less than 1 can you say answer is no equally the refractive index may be less than 1 it may be smaller than the refractive index of vacuum so i have written the answer of this question that uh, the question is can refractive index be less than unity answer is what answer is yes n may be less than 1 it is possible but see uh, when it is possible for which type of medium a refractive index of the medium is less than unity okay although such media are very little in number not uh, it is generally found as you know uh, basically refractive index of a medium is defined by uh, the ratio c by b that is if you denote the refractive index of a medium by the symbol n you define it like n equal to c by b you know that c is the speed of light in free space or in vacuum and v is the speed of light in a medium for which you are going to define this refractive index okay now uh, you know uh, from electromagnetic theory that this c which is a speed of electromagnetic wave or light in free space this is equal to 1 over root over mu not into epsilon not okay you know it here you know that this mu not is called permeability of free space what is this this is permeability of the free space this is permeability of free space and uh, epsilon not this is what this is called permittivity of free space permittivity of free space okay and in the similar manner you can write the expression for the speed of light in a medium whose refractive index is n and this v is given by the expression v equal to a square root of mu times epsilon okay here actually this mu you know is the permeability of that medium this is permeability of the medium whose refractive index is to define okay and epsilon is the permeability this is permeability of the medium and therefore uh, what will be n as you have seen that definition of n is this is c over v so let us substitute the expression for c and v so this will be uh, what this will be uh, actually mu times epsilon and divided by mu not epsilon not a square root okay and uh, you can write this expression like this this is mu divided by mu not times 
एफ सेल एन डिवाइडेड बाई एफ सेल एन नॉट एंड दिस स्क्वायर रूट बट यू नो द रेशियो ऑफ परमिबिलिटी ऑफ ए मीडियम म्यू एंड दैट ऑफ द परमिबिलिटी ऑफ फ्री स्पेस म्यू नॉट दिस इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड रिलेटिव परमिबिलिटी डिनोटेड बाय द सिम्बॉल म्यू आर एंड एफ सेल एन ओवर एफ सेल एन नॉट दिस इज एफ सेल एन आर दिस इज द रिलेटिव परमिटिविटी so n is equal to a square root of mu r times epsilon r where you know mu r is the relative permeability and epsilon r is the relative permittivity of the medium actually uh, if you are talking about a non magnetic uh, media in uh, case of non magnetic magnetic media if you consider non magnetic media actually for all non mag magnetic material this mu r is equal to 1 and therefore you can write that the refractive index of non magnetic materials are a square root of epsilon r. Uh, in fact for convenience we write this expression like this this is n square equal to epsilon r okay this result holds for the non magnetic material now if you talk about uh, a particular example which is called cold plasma when you say cold plasma that means a plasma at relatively a smaller temperature actually plasma always exists at higher temperature but relatively when the plasma is at smaller temperature then it is called cold plasma actually a best example of this cold plasma is found in our nature and that is actually the ionospheric plasma in fact in ionosphere the atmospheric gas is in ionized state and that ionized gas actually qualified to be the be a plasma and so you can say that ionospheric plasma is a, an example of a cold plasma so cold plasma it means this you are talking about ionospheric plasma okay ionospheric plasma actually this plasma consists of positively charged ions and negatively charged electrons okay <clears throat> when you will talk about the ionospheric plasma this ionospheric plasma has such a value of uh, relative permittivity that uh, its square root is less than 1 it means uh, for ionospheric plasma or cold plasma you can say plasma this refractive index is equal to root over epsilon r because this plasma is a non magnetic material and this is less than 1 this is found to be less than 1 and there is very important consequence of this value that refractive index of ionospheric plasma is smaller than 1 this is the reason that uh, the electromagnetic wave gets reflected from the ionosphere if uh, the refractive index of ionospheric plasma will be not less than 1 then there will be no reflection of radio waves from the ionosphere which is the uppermost layer of our atmosphere and so radio communication will not be possible so for radio communication this uh, ionospheric plasma plays a very vital role very important role and for its reflection it is necessary that its uh, refractive index is less than 1 so you can say that actually this is just a gift of our nature that the refractive index of ionospheric plasma is less than 1 and that's why the electromagnetic wave or the radio wave propagating through the ionosphere gets reflected to the earth and so that the radio communication is possible 
so you can say that refractive index of cold plasma or ionospheric plasma may be less than 1 which is smaller than the refractive index of the vacuum so never think that refractive index cannot be less than 1 okay thank you very much